Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you guys some hair, but not this hair. No, no, no. I'm going to be taking this one down today just so I can install this hair sent to me by our friends over at Toyo Tress. Now I did have to go look up several videos to figure out the correct pronunciation of the name of this hair and I think the general consensus is Toshiana. So that's what we're gonna be calling these amazing crochet wavy locks. The Toshiana wavy locks are 100% handmade with high quality synthetic fiber. It feels soft and fluffy and there is no need to worry about itchiness or tangling. Every lock is different and has its own curl or wave pattern. So it gives it a lot of volume in the overall look. You can pick this up right over on Amazon, especially if you have Prime. It comes in 16 inches and 24 inches, along with the option to choose between three natural colors, Classic 1B, Ombre 30 Bronze, or Ombre 27 Blonde. Toyo Tress sent me over eight packs of their 24 inch locks in the color OT27. First things first, I've gotta take this style down. Fun fact, my first viral video on YouTube was this exact same style, except it was all 1B. Because the video blew up, I took note that the feedback was telling me that you guys wanted to see more videos on hair. So I started doing more hair videos, then I birthed the idea for braid school, and here we are today. So yeah, if you wanna see that full tutorial, I'll be sure to link that in the cards above for you. It's essentially a braidless crochet and I've had this one in for about two weeks. And since I'm gonna only wear these locks for a short amount of time, I'm not gonna redo my entire head. I'm just gonna cut this out, tighten up the back and reinstall over the same braid pattern. Before I rebraid, I'm gonna top off my ends with a little bit of this Jamaican black castor oil and then I'm gonna tighten everything up. Now that everything is nice and tight in the back, let's get into these locks. After installing a few, I can definitely recommend that you take time to open up the loops on these. The hair is very thick and very dense, so you'll need that extra room to pull these through without them being too tight. Actually, after I finished this install, I was really glad that I did this on an old pattern because I needed my roots to be a little loose to have that little bit of give under there to fit these loops underneath it. Now, when they say these look like the real thing, not only do they look like the real thing, but they feel like real locks. They are soft, however, they are very dense and very thick. So the more you pile on, the heavier this style is going to be. I know some people were able to do individuals with this hair, but with my hair being as long and as thick as it already is, I wouldn't dare attempt to like spend that much time trying to pull my hair through these locks. Now on the other hand, if I didn't have colored tips, I could have definitely got away with individuals using the soft lock method where you wrap kinky hair around it. However, that I, I just don't have the patience, you guys. I'm always, almost always gonna go with a braidless crochet. I did have a few spots where my bright color was showing, so I'm just gonna tag those spots with a little bit of temporary color spray. I showed you guys this trick a few videos back. It works wonders and doesn't ruin your color at all. It washes right on out. 
I'm not crazy concerned about it because I know after I take all of this down, I'm gonna be dyeing my hair a darker color for the fall. Also something to note, because of the density, I only use six packs total. And that's only because I did crochet and you need to fill in a lot of gaps in the back. But that's really all I could withstand. I couldn't put any more weight on my, my little head with all these locks. If you're doing a whole head of individuals, you probably only need four packs, five at the absolute most because it can be a lot of hair if you try to pack it all in at once. And since baby hairs are in right now, I went ahead and did a little baby hair art on the side there. Give it a little pizzazz. Just wanted to show you guys. I do have two packs left over. There's no way I could have fit those in. I packed as much as I could in there. And I will say that when I first installed this hair, it seemed like a lot of hair. But going back and looking at all of the pictures and photos, it definitely fit my face shape. And yeah, it was just giving me all of the goddess island uh game of thrones vibes you know i had to throw a little bling in there give it a little pizzazz yes baby hairs are late sis yes again this is the toshiana 24 inch wavy goddess locks by toyo Tress. this is the color ot27 and as you can see i am five foot two and these 24 inches fall like right above my tailbone actually right on my tailbone so very full very thick very wavy look at that game of thrones vibes y'all i was feeling very gypsy like you know but yeah super cute it was heavy to sleep on, so I would highly recommend getting a very large bonnet, gathering everything at the top of your head and sleeping that way. You can find these locks on Amazon at Toyo Tress's store. I will be sure to link that in the description box below so you can pick up your set today. I will also include a picture of this look along with the links to this hair in my Amazon store. So if you ever forget about where this video is, you can always just go to my Amazon store and it'll be right there for your viewing pleasure. As always, if you found this video helpful and enjoyed it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and share it with a friend. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you don't miss my next upload. Special thanks to our friends over at Toyo Tress for sponsoring today's video. We appreciate you guys so much. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you in the next video. Bye.